Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Defending yourself as a man. Now, to be clear, this was uh, brought to you by a generous donation of uh, one of my best supporters. This, this brother, this, the thing is, and I've talked about this brother before. He donates. He, I had to offer him, like, uh, because he'll donate and don't just, just off of GP. And I have to offer him something. I say, man, let me let me do something for issue. <laughs> but he was talking about he wanted me to address the issue of defending yourself as a man. And really, that comes down to uh, a couple of factors. But before you even get to those factors, we, we have to go into what I've talked about, the house of the man. And one of the things in the house of the man is the warrior. Now, the warrior, of course, is that type who protects the family and protects the home and everything. You know, the warrior is that guy, you know, he in bed chilling. He hear that noise. His woman don't have to ask him to get up or say, what's that? He already up. She might wake up and say, where he at? Because he already downstairs. It starts with any defense starts with just the mindset of really not allowing yourself to be pushed around or not allowing um, another person to violate your boundary. That's the first thing, because if someone went to attack you, be it mental or physical, they ain't a way of violating your uh, boundary. They ain't like, they ain't, uh, you know, they not respecting it. And sometimes in this world, it'd be great if you didn't have bullies or you didn't have people who didn't attack you. But the reality is somebody is going to touch you. Now, in order to defend yourself is a mental component and a physical component. The mental component, well, it started with that whole warrior thing, just realizing you're not going to put up with shit. And it's not always uh, you ain't going to put up with shit. Like if somebody uh, were to get in your face or something, and that's, that's the main place because sometimes people might talk some shit. You might be like, damn, is that even worth it? And then you might just like shrug it off or something. But then you got to be the type, if they in your face directly, what are you going to do? First, you got to have that mindset right there, that mental thing. You got to be prepared for it. And really, quite frankly, you got to be prepared on how far you want to take it. And I, let me share something about me. I haven't gotten in a fight, like a, I haven't had to raise my hands to somebody since I was like a teenager. But I've had plenty of confrontations since then, which I was able to, but I backed them down just by giving them a look. Like dudes bigger than me. They, they were in my face, Ray Star, something. They looked at me and a couple, it got back to me. They said, he looked like he'd kill you. But that's a mental thing. Because the mindset, my mindset is, if you lay your hands on me, I'm not going to just like hit back. I'm trying to end your life. Now, somebody might criticize that and say, oh, no, you can't. No, no, no. Because understand, if that person gets to that, if another human being gets to the point they want to violate your boundary like that as a man, you got to say, OK, you got to be like, OK, I'm, this is how ruthless I'm going to be. Because it could be a situation they trying to violate you to get to your, uh, get to your woman, get to your kids, get, get to your loved ones. You got to think, you got to think it's not even just about you. You defending something. You got to let somebody know, okay, this, you want to go there? This is how far I got to go. Because the times I did that, the times I did that, it was a couple times it was in defense of someone else. Because I, t- I tend to, like, people tend to stay out of my way. And that's part of that's the physical. You know, part of that is the physical. So that whole mental thing is you got to be worth it. Now, I know some people have fear, and it's easy to have fear. Somebody getting in your face, they bigger than you or something. I'm going to tell you what. There was a scene in the classic show, The Wire. And you may, I re, uh, people might remember it. Uh, in fact, uh, I'm going uh, I'm to put a, hold on, hold on for a second, because I got to write stuff down. All right. Yeah, I had to write that down, because I had to write down to uh, get a link for it. But, um. It was that scene where um, Michael, that teenage kid, didn't want, he would eventually become a killer, but he didn't want to take money from uh, Marlo, one of Marlo's people. And, you know, he was walking away. Marlo got in his face. He was calling him all sorts of punk, but Mike gave him a look. And Marlo, you know, Marlo's a killer. Marlo's vicious as hell. 
He took one look. This little teenager looked in, looked him right in the eye, and Marla was like, "Oh hell no!" And eventually gave him a job. <laughs> but that's how that's the mindset you have to have. And then the physical part is you need to be physical. Now I know a lot of people they'll say I'll just get a gun and all of that, but guns are funny because you really would need to practice close up pulling it out because and actually practice shooting. Because really, people don't realize you can have you can be right up on someone with a gun, but if you you not practice with it, you don't really know how to hold it. You can actually miss, and you can be point blank. There's a lot to that, and plus, you can't carry a gun with you all the time. Uh, even in a, or even in a concealed carry state, somebody can run up on you real quick. You you don't get the gun out, and I'm bringing all of that to say on a physical level. Now, y'all know I talk about the body game all the time, but it's not, it's not really just, you know, just to impress women. That's, that's like one aspect. And it's not just to have the energy to do things. That's one another aspect. Sometimes you can back somebody off just looking at you. And, like, people look at me, you know, I'm a big dude. A lot of people don't fuck with me on that. And you get a lot of big dudes if they carry it well with some confidence or even some small dudes. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, and he know who he is. There's a... I was at a retreat. There was a brother there, and he, he had a dangerous aura. I called him my assassin. Because that physicality, like a lot of times, you get, you you need to have the physicality to do something. Don't, what, what it mean? Okay, you might have a mindset. You get in a fight with somebody. What if you, you don't have the strength to bust somebody's jaw open? Like, it ain't just like you tap. The only thing you could tap is somebody's balls and they hurt. But if you you taking a human being, you're talking about you need the physical strength to do it. Like uh, professional fighters and boxers, they in the gym. They lifting too. Now, you might have the good technique and everything, but shoot, you need to physically be able to fight. And you might have to, you might, you know, might have to have the endurance depending on who you're messing with. It ain't like, hey, pfft. And, you know, fight could be over in a few minutes or something. But if you out of shape, you breathing hard, shoot, that might be your ass in the wrong place. You know? So you need to be able to physically, you can have the mental thing all you want, but if you physically can't hang in a fight or something like that, boom. You also need to, if, you, if, if necessary, take martial arts. Have something. Every man should have something, even if it's just regular you know, shadow boxing or something. You need to be able to do something to defend yourself physically. Like I said, even in concealed carry states, you might not be able to get the gun out in time. You know, you could have it on you in your waistband, anything like that. Somebody come up from behind, you might have to you might have to get them off of you. Or you get a group that hits you just right. You know, you don't have time to get it out. Because really... Really, a lot of times, they ain't going to be like that situation. They run up on you and they talk to you, have a monologue or something. Somebody going to run up on you. First, they're going to run up from the back. And, you know, and that's where sometimes martial arts can come in. Because then you might be, they might, depending on your system, you might be able to train in something to like to do something in the back. But whatever the case, that physicality. So to summarize everything as a man to defend yourself first you got to have that whole mind that warrior mindset like you, you ain't fucking with me that's the first thing and then the second thing just physically be able to defend yourself that's very important because understand something out here understand the nature of a man really part of his nature is to be the warrior that's a part of it because that's the thing. That's why we bigger. That's why we have the more tense muscles. That's even. That's why we don't have the same amount of emotion as a woman has. Because the war, you know, the warrior is combined with the with the hunter. That's the killer. You you can't you can't be sentimental or some or even if you fighting somebody, you can't be sentimental about them. It's them or you. It is them or you. So you can't be emotional. And plus that that's part of fear. You can't have fear. Or if you do have fear, you got to have the ability to convert that to courage real quick. Because wherever you go, and don't think just because you live in a certain place, it won't happen. You never know. Like any moment, any moment, it could come. So anyway, that's all I got for this one. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and many blessings.